Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. Today we're here to talk about the long-awaited sequel to Coming to America, which also happens to be called Coming to America. Now, originally it was supposed to go into theaters, but due to COVID, it was released on Amazon Prime on March 5th. Now, Eddie Murphy had taken a break from movies for a couple of years because he kept winning Razzie Awards and he was thinking, like, I don't want to keep doing these crappy movies. I want to take a little break. I know I have a family. He has, like, ten kids. Two of them more recently born. So he came out with the script for Coming to America. Now, of course, Coming to America stars Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, James Earl Jones... It also stars Wesley Snipes, Leslie Jones, Jermaine Fowler, Tracy Morgan, and of course John Amos and Louis Anderson. Now, it takes place 30 years later. Eddie Murphy, as of course is now King Akeem, his father passes away and uh, basically leaves everything to Akeem, so. And he needs a son to take over the throne eventually and he's only had daughters one of them played by eddie murphy's actual daughter and he finds out of course he has a long lost son in queens now if you remember from the first one it's like oh he never like slept with anyone before he met his wife lisa but we see in a extended scene with footage from the original movie when he goes to the bar with simmy where he meets the girls and the, the table and stuff that right after uh, he him and Simi took a woman back to their place and the aging effect to digitally de-age Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy is not bad it's there are better ones but this one if you can't tell if you look really quickly so it turns out he smoked weed and had sex with a woman and had a son years later now, the son is like 30 or something, he's looking for work and stuff like that, he just lives in Queens. Now they have the son trying to get a job at a company called Duke, and it's of course the grandson of Duke and Duke from Trading Places, because of course those two Trading Places and Coming to America take place in the same universe. So that's a nice little cameo. Now, the movie itself is fine. It is basically the same movie as the first one, except Akeem has to realize that change is good and things like that. It is, like, has some general heart to it, like Eddie Murphy or Arsenio Hall, everyone's doing a good job. Wesley Snipes plays a rival tribe from Zamunda, who originally Eddie Murphy was supposed to marry his sister who was that woman who was barking and the same actress comes back and she was she stopped barking but she still has like PTSD from that so this movie actually has a lot of really good cameos from the first movie it has those two rapping twins it has uh, of course Louis Anderson John Amos they have Morgan Freeman salt and pepper Gladys Knight like the movies enjoyable to watch I think like, I don't know what you were expecting after 30 years of a, for a sequel to a movie that probably didn't need to be made. But it was nice, I guess, for Eddie Murphy to revisit one of his old characters. Now, fun fact, the wardrobe for Coming to America was the same people who did the wardrobe for Black Panther, which is pretty obvious when you look at it. Um, also... Like, the accents in this movie are, like, sound terrible. Like, yeah, they were, I guess, funny 30 years ago, but today it's not, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's on Amazon Prime. It's free to watch. I would check it out. I'd give it, like, a 2 out of 5 out of 5 burgers because, like I said, it's the same plot as the same as the first movie. But it is nice to see all the characters come back that Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall played, like the barbershop people and the reverend and things like that. There is a new one now that they have, and um, it's like a feel-good movie and has good morals. 
So check it out for some nostalgia, but that's probably all you're going to feel from it. I heard they might make a third one, but that's really not necessary, because, like, what are they going to do? But yeah, that's coming to America. I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.